dress on page care work. Um, it didn't sit very well with me. I wasn't comfortable using the word. Um, and I've, I've heard it before as well in other times, but um, I wanted to know what context it was going to be used here. And I was glad to find that there were a lot of people that thought similar to what I thought, and that unpaid unpaid care work actually is something that isn't uh, is quite a negative label. It should be something that should be celebrated rather than thought of as something that is. Um, um, a negative thing. Uh, if I talk about the women's and paid and care, there is a lot in yes. our country, it's a lot. The, the conflict there really is different. It's very hard. You know, and also it's a good idea with doing these things. We learn how to help the other people, the other women, you know. Uh, to show them what they can do, even if it's little, that we, we, at least we are learning how to to you know help ourselves and how help our you know the friends relative uh, you know the people around us uh, especially women you know there is a lot of women they 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 don't think about anything they just you know they, you know I'm gonna cook I'm gonna clean I'm gonna look after his kids and that's it you know they don't have their own life mm -hmm. they take care of their children continuously from morning to night and I have seen some ladies they don't know where is your status. Those are the problems, like they're always inside the house, they never Awareness. come out. For example, if there are women, they, they are all the time so mm -hmm. People that come to see her, maybe health visitors, doctors, they should also know about the case of the, of the lady and talk to her, get interpreters. Yeah. Yeah, they are teachers. aware. Some they women say, oh, if you want, if you have any problems, you can contact these services. I, I do know from my own experience, my health visitor, she used to guide me, you know, this show start, I didn't know about it, since seven years now I know about it. She pulled me into that direction, once I'm there, the, the branch is open, there are so many different things, childcare, uh, activity groups, um, so then, you know, I go whatever. I need mean. showing confidence or believing in their words, what they want to say. If they should, someone show confidence or like trust, beliefs. Mm -hmm. If there is domestic abuse, there are all sort of things you can find in, in these centers, but you need someone that's in touch with you. Even the doctor, you say, you know, I'm not well, could you help me out? Yeah. They can direct you to the right of Behind Bye. each, uh, each man, there is a famous man, there is a woman. Mm -hmm. yeah. The woman in the society is the most uh, important thing, I think. Important uh, mm -hmm. body. And uh, they need, you know, they have a lot of problems. They have a lot of situations. Uh, sometimes they are alone. Uh, black women can't assault their problems alone. I've seen different kind of feminists. Yeah. You know, they're all sort of. Yeah. I'm a feminist, but I fight for my rights as a human being, to be treated as a human being, mm -hmm. and don't go to the stream. I'm doing some sort of research. I have two one. Two one. The one is for man, for men, and the one for women. The one for men is more interesting than the one for women. Mm -hmm. Women is all about makeup and yeah. it's really Cosmetic like fashion. fashion. <laughs> and the women, the men one is about gadgets, books, science. science. So I prefer this one. I don't care about makeup and heels. And I break my life with the heels. <laughs> I just, I really need to have a proper look up to both magazines. And I'm. And I see that it's really, it's really patronizing. In this country, for example, uh, most of the family they have got uh, one, two children or three. They have got, but in our country, they have got at least five. It goes to ten, nine, ten. You can solve with your children as well. Especially if you have girls. Or even boys, you need to teach them, you know, to be equal. You to treat the other sex in a different way. One of, I remember my um, health visitor saying, the child is fine, but what about you? You know, if you're not happy, if you're not eating well, if you're not having plenty of rest, you cannot take care properly of your child. So sometimes we forget that the problems, you cannot sort out certain problems until, to, until you educate the parents. I've seen communities where they don't move on, they're stuck in there, living on benefits. They, they, they live with that. They say, oh, no, I don't have aspirations. 
so the kids that just grew up learning from their parents, so the parents need to be encouraged. But if they don't know how to be encouraged, then they cannot teach to the children that they can aspire, you know, high in life. So I've seen, I think it's really important. We, we are told to look after children this way, that we do these things with children. But, you know, what, what about us? Especially nowadays, we all disconnected from our parents or families, and we are raising out the kids our own, on our own. So we don't really have a guidance or extra help. So it's good that we, there are some other groups. Yeah, you know, uh, somebody helping its uh, family, its uh, uh, somebody, its uh, children, other, its uh, people. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody have uh, helping in the, uh, uh, in his mind, um, the synthesis of this is the idea of helping, and uh, it, it could be also about what uh, you hope to do. You know, uh, in the future, maybe you want to do something better in society. You know, you know, this is for you know all the people. You know, they take care of us when when we was young. We ha this is the time that we have to do something for them. Also, this is our religion that show us that we have to do th these things for this, uh, you know, disciples for people. And also, and also, it's uh, about you know what you believe. Because also, you know, some people they they have a lot of I see my uh, mom's hard working and, and paid working and uh, she, was, she was doing uh, my meeting and sewing for us, especially when there's the Eid and celebration. Still, there's a very hard working and it's an unpaid care, I think. Uh, still, they can't afford it to have a washing machine just by, by hand. Sometimes in our life, we do things we do, you know, when our kids stay, you know, get sick or we just give them medicine, everything we can, but we really appreciate that, you know, there is a doctor, there is a nurse around us, they help us, they, you know, um, we do the things that they tell us, you know, we learn from them. And if we work together, we can, uh, we can give smile for children, we can give uh, uh, happiness for women, for uh, family, and it's like the sunrise. Proverb in India, they say uh, the crying baby is fed first. So wherever you fight for your rights, it will be it will be an easy way mm -hmm. for you to achieve something. I, I, I think that it's simple, though it might be public or any whatever work you do, how big or small, you need to say it to the people. Until you don't say, no one will listen to you. So when you believe in something, you take it to the end. You don't stop. Because you know there is some injustice. And it's black women who uh, are displaced <coughs> from their skin because they are black. And then uh, they, uh, they ask for the equality mm -hmm. uh, via, via council. And they uh, make uh, like uh, they go to court. Yeah, and uh, they start uh, I say, uh, appeal. We need to fight for our rights. So that is what they exposure I said. That's the thing. The information. Some people they just don't know. So when you fight together, Do you can know, solve big problems. Uh, it's, it's really sad that no one takes you into a, what, whatever you think, whatever you're fighting for, they don't take it into account. And what is city council doing for women? When we are uh, unhappy about decision of uh, decision, uh, we don't stop. We try again and and try again and try again. We have right and defend our right. If all of them they are behind each other working together, they can get them more power to do it. 
that, that's uh, I think the answer for it. Just by yourself, uh, it doesn't work. I can say I've been living in this country for a long time, but it's been for the past seven years mm. that I've been in touch with other women groups, and then I know that I can fight for my rights. Although before I just didn't know. If you work together without waiting for any response, just give smile for other people and make some happiness and help as good as we can. Don't give up. Yeah. <laughs>